Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage and welcome to Gaming News. Now I've got two articles here that kind of refer to frame rates, both for Assassin's Creed Unity and The Evil Within, both referring to 30 FPS. Now, the Assassin's Creed Unity article basically states that Ubisoft was once committed to delivering games at 60 FPS, but the studio has since backed off because the results were apparently weird. Now this is a direct quote from Ubisoft themselves. At Ubisoft, for a long time we wanted to push 60fps. I don't think it was a good idea because you don't gain much from 60fps, and it doesn't look like the real thing, he said. It's a bit like the Hobbit movie. It looked really weird. Well, okay, so I have to stop you there, uh, whoever the fuck they're talking about here. I think it's the level design director, Nicola Gurian, from Ubisoft. Okay, so if you're comparing 30 FPS to 60 FPS and saying that it doesn't matter or, th you know, that, that difference in frame rate is irrelevant depending on the genre, you are, you, you can't be more wrong. And on top of that, you're comparing a game which is interactive media to a stable, non-changing movie format. So, if the frame rate in the movie doesn't change, then it's technically not the same. And you can't compare video games to movies, ever. It's a completely different media format, and it's completely different content. Right? If you're comparing it to movies, let's say most movies run at either 24 or 25 frames per second, but that is a constant frame rate. We're talking about a video game. Video games will most of the time, depending on which platform you actually play on, doesn't matter which one it is really, but if you're playing at 30 FPS or 60 FPS or higher than 60 FPS and the frame rate is variable, that means the frame rate is you know changing a lot, either if it's locked at 30 and it dips from 30 to say 10 or 20 FPS constantly or very frequently then you will notice that, and it won't feel realistic. Doesn't matter whether you design the game around 30 FPS, doesn't matter whether you design the game around 60 FPS, if the game is dropping frames, if the game is stuttering, you will lose immersion. So comparing a movie, which is a stable, non-changing frame rate, to a game that has a variable frame rate most of the time, it's complete garbage. You can't do that. It's, <laughs> you just can't. Now, saying that The Hobbit, or Peter Jackson's The Hobbit, came to theaters in December 2012, running at 48 FPS, but a lot of people were saying that it kind of looked off and how real it actually looked. Well, <sighs> that's because it was a new frame rate. They were testing a new frame rate in theaters to see how it was actually portrayed and whether people actually liked it. Now, me personally, I like to see video footage in 50 or 60 FPS, but the fact that it was 48 FPS is a little bit worrying because that's not a typical frame rate that you'll see. Now, typical frame rates are either 50 because of 50 hertz monitors or TVs or 60 hertz. So... In that case, I would completely disagree with Ubisoft, and if you're going to run games specifically at 30 FPS or target 30 FPS, then you are by far the most stupid developer that I've ever seen, or even dealt with, really. Like, at this point, developers are being, or trying to cover up the fact that they can't make 60 FPS on the next-gen systems at a, you know, visual upgrade. You just can't. And Ubisoft, fucking Bethesda Softworks, have all proved this. Simply because they are all trying to run, or simply trying to justify, the fact that their games are running at 30 FPS. So, this is the only reason why this is occurring. So, if the developer, or Ubisoft, or any other developers, claim that 30 FPS is any better than 60 FPS, or higher frame rates, are completely lying to you. If you believe that for a single second, you're an idiot. Now I say that because there are there will be a lot of people that state, you know, oh, Ubisoft said or this developer said that 30 FPS is better than 60 FPS. People will believe that. 
I understand that. But whether that's right or wrong, it's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong to betray misinformation to the masses and betray it as correct information. You know? So stating that 30 FPS is fine or stating that 30 FPS should be acceptable is like saying that 24 FPS for a movie isn't acceptable anymore. And people would like 48 FPS, 68, or well, 60 FPS for a movie. That's not necessarily the case because we have been watching movies at 24 frames for at least, what, 40 years probably? Probably longer than that. So if you've been watching movies for that fucking long at a very stable frame rate that doesn't change, but yet your game is variable in frame rate, you're a very stupid developer and you are the reason why we are getting these shitty ports on PC purely because you don't have the mental capacity to deal with your fucking shitty consoles that cannot deliver 60 FPS or higher. That isn't PC's fault. You know, there are people out there that spend over two grand for a PC. Why should I be, or why should those people be limited to a single developer choice based around a console. That's not how developing games should be. You should care for each individual platform in its own entity. You shouldn't care for one specific platform or one group of platforms and then discard the rest. That's not how it should be. And if you're going to do that, your business model is flawed. Obviously, Ubisoft hasn't given a shit about PC for a very long time. They claim they do, but they don't. Ever since Assassin's Creed 1, through to Assassin's Creed 4. All of those games that are, are in between that uh, time period have sucked on PC. They've had horrible frame rates, horrible performance, and even Assassin's Creed 4 had a, a maximum frame rate of 62 or 63 frames per second. That's not bad, but when you're dealing with a lot of stuttering, that is extremely horrible. So when Ubisoft come out and claim that 30 FPS is their next target, or that's what they're going to target for the next games, that's worrying. Because if you're making the visual fidelity, you know, on par to what PC can run, but yet you're halving the frame rate and causing the frame rate to be justified by the animations, by the physics engine, you know, locking that into the same fucking thing, that's how games were developed you know, 10 years ago. Why the fuck are we going backwards in development? Which doesn't make any sense to me. But the next article, which obviously will refer to frame rates, is The Evil Within locked at 30 FPS, but you can change it manually. So I'm not going to talk about their garbage shit that they talk about here uh, uh, with uh, PC specs, but I will talk about the shit they say about it, right? Shinji Makami, whatever the fuck his name is, and the team at Tango designed The Evil Within to be played at 30 FPS and to utilize an aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1 for all platforms. Now, how the fuck would I know what that actually means? I don't go by ratios. I don't go by aspect ratios other than, you know, 21 by 9, 20 by 9, or 16 by 9, what have you. Those are average aspect ratios that people will generally use. So what the fuck is 2.35 over 1? That's like saying 2 million to 1 contrast ratio, which is most of the time complete garbage and it's just a marketing term. So what do they actually mean by that? Anyway, the next bit is the team has worked for the last four years perfecting the game experience with these settings in mind. For PC players, will provide debug commands on how you can alter the frame rate and aspect ratio, but these commands and, com and changes are not recommended or supported, and we suggest everyone play the game as it, is, or as it was designed and intended for the best experience. Okay, so this is the same garbage report that we got from Capcom with Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3 and Capcom, those developers and publishers both stated that the game ran perfectly fine unlocked, that it was running perfectly fine at 60 FPS. But if you go back and look at several other reviews, several other 
first impressions videos where people have systems with you know GTX 780s or Titans, two of them or what have you. People can't get that game to run stable at all. So I don't know where you got that information from and who the fuck you got testing that thing, but who, like, how does this happen? How do people in the gaming industry look at this and go, yes, this is accepted. This should be the way games should be played, especially on PC. For fuck's sake, PC gamers sit, a, you know, not even a meter away from their fucking screen. We can see every little detail. We can see most stuttering. We are PC gamers. We notice this shit because we are sitting that close to the screen. It is fine for consoles because they, you know, sitting eight meters or six meters away from the fucking TV. You know, stating that 30 FPS with motion blur that you probably can't get rid of because that's just a standard for some fucking reason now is garbage. And I can't accept that. Now, whether they get testers or game testers or QA testers to actually test this and go, yes, this is how the game should be. This is fine. This works perfectly fine. If we unlock the game, it runs fine. This type of shit. They should be testing this stuff anyway. They should be optimizing it to allow PC players to get the optimal experience outside of their own, you know, basic needs where they wanted the game to run at 30 FPS. If you can unlock the game, stating that you, you know, aren't supporting that is complete garbage because you allowed it. You put it in the game. You allowed people to unlock the frame rate. So technically you are supporting it, but you're not further supporting that idea. You're not going to optimize the game past your recommended frames per second. Do you get me so far, developers? <laughs> you know, when you're saying this type of shit, it doesn't make any sense. Because if you're going to lock the frame rate, especially on PC, and demand requirements of, say, 4 gigabytes of VRAM and, you know, 8 gigs of system RAM, when you're running the game at 30 FPS, Sorry, but that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. If you're going to have shitty looking textures, because I have seen gameplay for The Evil Within, it looks like shit. The textures look like shit. The animations for the injured character when he's walking injuredly and shit, that's not really a word, but you get what I'm talking about. He walks like a minder. He, he walks so stupid. How was that a correct way of walking when you were injured? He was like flailing his arms around like a complete dickhead. Like, I'm just gonna sit there and laugh at that fucking animation whenever I see it. So, the fact that that game is indeed a horror game, that animation alone is going to take me out of the experience. <laughs> Especially the graphics, you know? <sighs> like, when developers claim that 30 FPS should be a standard or people shouldn't care about 30 FPS or 60 FPS and they should deal with 30 FPS is complete and utter garbage. Developers need to understand that there are multiple platforms out there. There are multiple platforms that should be able to run the game at 60 FPS or higher. If you're not developing the game for those specific platforms and their needs or their basic requirements because <clears throat> most people on PC will not accept a game that is running at 30 FPS. To this day, I still have not played Vikings Battle for Asgard. I still have not played Dead Rising 3. <clears throat> Simply because those developers were just... I, I just don't know what to say without being a complete dickhead about it. Because I have played those games at 30 FPS. They feel like shit. The you know, Vikings Battle for Asgard feels like it's running in a fucking slideshow. If you're not even going to have the decency to fix your game, why should people pay for it? Especially the evil within. If people are going to know <clears throat> that that game runs at 30 FPS, why the fuck should any Australian or any consumer pay $80 for that game when it's running at 30 frames? When it's running at half the frame rate as every other game on my games list. Now keep in mind, I nearly have 400 games. Most of those games have a variable frame rate of above or unlocked above 60. So, 
You're trying to tell me, as a PC gamer that sits not even a foot away from their fucking screen, that 30 FPS with motion blur is fine. You're going to sit there and tell me that that should be acceptable? That is where I should not draw the line? This is extremely unacceptable and I just... I hate developers when they do this type of shit and they try to justify why they choose specific resolutions or they try to justify why they choose specific uh, frame rates and it should be unlocked especially for PC now for consoles it should be unlocked or a variable frame rate of about 60 but if it can't sustain 60 frames per second then it should be locked at 30 that's fine for consoles but for PC, I don't see any justification for a 30 FPS lock. Hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Rampage. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.